Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and this video is going to be a quick update on Humble. Y'all have been spamming me on Twitter. Y'all been spamming me on stock tweets. Y'all been talking about Humble with a very aggressive tone, and I've been mentioning this to you guys from the beginning to expect volatility. I can't control the price going down, and I can't control it when it's going up. But what I can tell you is where the prices can potentially land, and so. Here we are right now looking at Humble here on the weekly time frame and on the weekly time frame we have very strong support here at around 43.44 cents and so with this price action and where we are right now I actually see Humble going even lower than what we saw today. If I zoom this in on the daily we can see that our price action right now actually closed below this uptrend line of support. And so where we are right now with price action, there are a couple levels to watch out for here on the daily. We have horizontal support at around 43.64 cents, like I mentioned. I do think we are going to get stomped out at this level. You can see our RSI is already oversold. So I don't think we're going to go too much lower than this point, at least in the short term. So I do think that when we get to this point, we could see tomorrow as a day where we test this low, but then we close a lot higher up. And so with an RSI of oversold, you can see anytime when we at these levels, we did eventually roar up. So one example right here, one example right here. And so here we are again with an extremely oversold RSI. However, our accumulation has gone down a little bit, but you can see relative to the drop that we've seen in our share price, this is over exaggerated and so I do like to see that. And the last thing I wanna mention on these trend lines is this last level of support on this uptrend is at around 40 cents. And so I don't see this going lower than 40. You can already see our RSI is oversold and Humble does not really stay in oversold territories for that long. So we do expect to see this bounce sooner rather than later. If I pull this back out onto our weekly, just to look at our RSI, we have a 34 RSI, so we're not officially oversold here on the weekly. And so we can see some price action go down. But look at our accumulation here on the weekly. Absolutely stunning here. We have been holding and consolidating our accumulation. However, our share price has been absolutely sinking. And so here I am looking at Humble and I do see us getting on the support at around 43 cents. That is a level. I do have a buy target there and I have an order set for myself. And so to me, these are blessings. I actually got lower than my average. And so I've been holding humble before this even ran up. And so we're finally below my average of 58 cents. And so I feel like a kid at a candy shop seeing these crazy prices. And so if you get down to this 44 cents level, I will be there. My order is actually set for 45 cents. And so you could see that we are getting to bottom levels. And so these are the levels that I am going to add on my position. And so yes, I doubled down last week and I'll be tripling down if we get down to this level. And so that's just the name of this game. Game. you got to know which battles to pick and you got to know what positions you want to load up on and so I'm fully convinced on humble every bear that's in my Twitter every bear that's hollering at me saying that this company's a scam this company's gonna fail too much dilution too many shares Brian Foots trash whatever people are saying is actually fueling me to hold my ground even more and so with all the negative energy that I'm getting about humble I know this is the pick that I want to be in this is the play that I want to be in I also feel like most of the people who are bears and bashing the stock are heavy bag holders of this stock and so at one point these guys were bulls but then when they got lower than their average and it kept going down 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 is when they turn into bears and so here's how the game works you're never gonna get a play that just goes up and stays up you're gonna get plays where you're gonna get tested you're gonna be a bag holder for certain plays are you gonna average down to bring your cost down or are you gonna be that negative nancy in the comments who just talks about how trash this stock is that is up to you the real method to make money is to average down your position on support levels rather than complaining about where the price is if you don't like this company you don't like what they're doing don't mention me, get away from the stock and don't look at it. It's very simple. You don't need to be in this stock. Nobody's forcing you to buy this stock. But if you are in this stock and you're a bag holder and you're looking for plays and you're looking for times to average down, well, these are the level of supports that you should be looking at. We're at an almost oversold RSI on the weekly. So these are the levels that you should be loading the boat here with Humble. I don't care what people say, stocks go up and stocks go down. This one has been going down for a while, so I do expect to see a bounce soon and so 
with this one i still could see it go lower like i said down here to our 42 43 cents level if i add in all of our smas you could see we are well below all of our smas and so the price action doesn't stay this far below for very long so i expect this to eventually curl up you can see where our 200 day sma is it's still at around a dollar 70 so that is a huge ways up from where we are right now and so i'm taking advantage of these cheap prices i hope y'all are too because i'm tired of hearing people complaining about a stock that they're interested in you shouldn't be complaining about these type of prices if you are in this stock if you actually understand how money is made you see this as an absolute blessing and so it's a matter of seeing the cup half full rather than half empty and so i'm always going to see the cup half full especially especially when it relates to humble and so when i'm looking at our smas right now we're well below all of them almost oversold on the weekly strong accumulation and also want to see one last thing i want to show you guys the super trend on our weekly so our super trend has had a sell signal here on humble since obviously february of 2021 and so we have almost gone a full year with this going down and so we also had a buy signal in july of 2020 and so you can see we had a very strong run up with this one and then we had a very strong cool off and so once you get past both extremes is once you start to get the company to grow organically and so you don't expect humble to blow up to five dollars immediately you expect this one to slowly chip away go higher as time passes as the company develops and so humble is a startup expect volatility in the future i've said this before but i'm gonna say it again this stock is a buy under a dollar in my opinion i obviously have a low average because i was in this one before most of the hype came and so Honestly, everything that's happened in the last seven to nine months has actually gave me more conviction than I had before. And with this company that's going to continue to progress and they're going to continue to grow, I'm very excited to see what their next earnings report looks like. Until then, we just have to wait and watch for this volatility to sit out. And so remember that our next ER is going to be massive. We may see a pre-anticipatory run before that ER, but before then, we may see the price action continue to slide and take advantage of these opportunities because I have seen this story happen so many times and those people who were bears earlier bashing how bad this play is are going to be the same guys that are chasing this once going up and so don't be that guy don't be that guy that's the one thing i can say we are sitting at very nice levels right now with humble there aren't too many levels of support below this point so if humble breaks down from this 43 cents level it does look absolutely gloomy but these are levels that i will be risking it all on with humble and so that is just my personal opinion on this play but i wanted to talk about it because there's been a lot of people who have been bashing unnecessarily everybody and everything related to humble so i wanted to come here talk about it just get my two cents maybe give some people some reassurance and so if you guys enjoyed this update on humble don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one.